Okay. I've just come down the stairs. Here's the here's what needs to be done down here. All right, this wall. Um, there's support there for the house, but all those bricks, nothing's moved there, as you can see. Okay, but two bricks over, it's this wall is sticking out a good a good three to four inches. Okay, and there's this big cast iron pipe uh, that's resting on the wall. I don't know how much of the weight the wall is supporting. There's a band up there, a plumber's band, plumber's tape, whatever strap that's holding, holding it up to the subfloor. So that needs to be dug, that needs to be ripped down and dug out. Here's the other side, the crack on the other side. It's only sticking out about an inch at the worst, but anyway. Okay, so that wall needs to be pretty much be torn down in a big V shape. Don't want to do that until that cast iron is either replaced with PVC, the lightweight PVC, or more straps put on it to bolt it to strap it to the subfloor, which is going to be extremely cheap compared to replacing the pipe. Okay, now here's the walls that have all the damage done to them. Um, you can see cracking down near the near the the slab I guess you call it and the wall right here it looks like this part of the wall is pushed out maybe an inch inch to two inches from where this part of the wall is which this doesn't look like it's moved but as you go up a little higher it looks like it's bowing out a little bit further I mean this looks pretty bad from here so anyway what they're talking about is putting these metal plates I think they're only about maybe a foot wide and maybe three feet high. I think he said he, they cover about four or five of these. Talking about putting one there, one right onto this, which this piece comes out. Can you, I don't know if you can see it. There's an extra brick here that comes out kind of like that over there. You know, it comes out two bricks instead of a single brick. So that, they're talking about putting one on that also. And then another one over here and as you can see the gas pipe comes through the wall too that's bowing so that's you know that's been pulling on that gas pipe for decades so i'm a little bit worried about that um, the back wall i don't know if you can see it i mean yeah it's got a crack in it but it's not bowing out anything at all like like the south wall um, you know, there's a crack down here that looks like a little bit of moisture has come through. There's a little bit of mold or stain there. Um, again, another one of those columns where there's where brick comes out two bricks deep. You know, it looks pretty good. It's broken right there a little bit, about a brick and a half from the top. And you can't really see much from these angles, I know. But uh, anyway, there's a pipe here, and it's not really bent. I mean, it's being pushed on a little bit, but all right. So that's the situation of the basement. I could probably take some higher uh, resolution photos with a flash and send them to you, but uh, I'll just back up here a little bit so you can see. And I've got, there's a wash tub in the way and I've got boxes against that wall, but that's the state of it there. All right. See ya.